So welcome back to my channel. Um, my name's Amanda Howard. I'm a criminologist. I also have a podcast and true crime books. Most of them you can see behind me. Um, I'm actually doing this short series of my top 10 serial killers by body counts. Now, when we're talking about serial killers, we're not just talking about the sexual status like Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, John Wayne Gacy, things like that. We're actually talking about the whole umbrella um, definition of serial killers. So we're talking about um, poisoners, we're talking about uh, terrorists, we're talking about murder for hire and things like that, that these people actually kill multiple people at multiple events at, mul at multiple places with a cooling down period uh, between. So that's what changes them from a mass murderer or a spree killer to a serial killer. And my number eight um, on this list is 370 murders in Ciudad Juarez, which is in Mexico. Now, there has been talks over the years that actually this was uh, linked to people trafficking, that it's to do with drugs, it's to do with the cartels and things like that. But um, there's actually a thread through these that many believe there is maybe a group or one or two serial killers that are actually killing a lot of these women. Now, um, it, it's been going on since 1993. And as I said, there's been at least 370 women killed so far. This is beyond the other um, cases of murders and things like that that happen. Like when we see the drug cartel murders, um, if you were on a lot of uh, gore sites, you'd see a lot of those. Um, but these are still vulnerable women who are actually being taken by hu human predators. So um, there has been a couple of arrests in these cases. Um, so in 2001, uh, several suspected serial killers were captured. Uh, so there was Victor Uribe um, and there was Gustavo Gonzalez Metza. Both of them were actually arrested for eight murders. Um, Metza actually died in police custody. Um, make of that what you will and Uribe actually said that he confessed under police torture so um we're not sure if that's true um we're not sure what's going on there but both of these men uh, didn't actually stand trial for the cases that they were uh, suspected of undertaking um so they may have been responsible for some of them but there is still you know there's still 362 cases that we aren't aware of being any conclusion to so um with these cases um, there is people caught every so often. There is sometimes links between some of these cases. There's um, theories that it could be an American serial killer or three or four of them are going in, into Mexico for the vulnerable people that are easier to take, uh, expecting that police services and things like that aren't going to look into these as much as they would say a rich person or a beautiful person or a white person. Um, I'm not being racist. It's just the facts that happen with a lot of these cases that vulnerable people and their investigations for murder are not actually... Um, undertaken of any sort of um, uh, scrutiny that, that would help them actually find closure in these cases. And so um, there's also a silence against the police. People don't want to talk to police because then they feel that they may become vulnerable to attacks as well. Um, and there is uh, thoughts of corruption and things like that. So uh, the Ciudad Juarez case, um, as I said, there is so many victims, 370 so far that are linked to this one area whether it's one serial killer, whether it's several serial killers, whether it's cartel work, no one actually knows, but it is actually considered a serial killer murder case. And you can actually go and research these um, murders yourself. And hopefully you, you may be able to find some a closure to some of these, but yes, definitely um, that is my number eight. Um, and there is actually seven more killers that are more deadly and have killed more people than 370. So. Um, thank you for watching this. I am actually going to do these all as little separate tidbits and then I'll put them all together. Um, I'd love for you to subscribe. I'd love for you to like it. I'd love for you to leave a comment. Apparently there's currently a YouTube algorithm that we need comments so then people can see the videos. Um, I'm happy to share these with people. As I said, I have a massive database that I've been working on uh, to get this information and I'm really keen on sharing it out there. Um, so please come back and see other information videos like this. I do do podcast episodes as well as case studies just to go along with the podcast that we do on Monsters Who Murder. But I also do things like this, like the top tens. I've done um, a podcast uh, on, on this as well, just, just to share with our Patreon subscribers, which goes into a bit more detail. Um, but please do like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one.